one of my dream destinations, Greenland. And now we sail here. Isn't that amazing? I'm overwhelmed over this country. <sighs> How did it come become my dream destination? It's quite a story since quite a long time back. I was around 10 years old and uh, my teacher in school was ill, so we had a stand-in uh, teacher for her. And we were supposed to have geography and read about the all different continents in the world. And then we had a man, a young man, who had traveled around the world. Uh, and instead of showing the map and using the book, he was showing us picture on the big screen. And one thing that I remember most or made most impact on me was the one that when he was kayaking uh, around iceberg in uh, Greenland. And he said that was the best destination that he had visited. And now I got a fly in my mouth. <laughs> There's lots of flies in Greenland. But well, I, really, I really like and love Greenland. I want to see more of it and during a longer time. Yeah. Glaciers are cool, and we couldn't get enough of them. It is mind-boggling to see ice that could be many hundred years old. And the colors. They look all white from a distance, but close up the ice is blue. And when the fresh water is mixed with salt water, it turns green. How do you feel? Warm. <laughs> Wool power is the best material after a cold bath. <laughs> it was refreshing. <laughs> whale with the oven baked vegetables. <laughs> now I'm going to try it. It smells of very much fish. Mm -hmm. What's the taste like? Not like it smells. Okay. It feels like a beef. Alright. With the taste of fish. <laughs> It's not going to be my favorite meat, but it's okay. <laughs> we went hiking in a valley that ended with a huge glacier. There are no trails here, but that's not necessary. The terrain is very hiking friendly with no bushes and the ground is covered with soft moss-like vegetation, perfect to walk on. Of course some parts are too steep but they are easily avoided. There are lots of fresh water coming down from the hillsides so there are no need to carry water.
Hello. We were surprised that we didn't see much wildlife, only a few birds. Some say that you need a rifle when hiking due to ice bears. We had that the last day, so we didn't have one. But we saw a lot of rifles in the stores, even in grocery stores. We went through Prince Christian Sound, which is a 100 km long sound that runs east to west on the southern tip of Greenland. It is amazingly beautiful, with glacier that runs all the way to the water and mountains up to 1700 meters with sharp peaks. We didn't sail much due to lack of wind. And that is apparently common, especially in the fjords. We were warned about strong winds that suddenly could come rushing down the mountainside, but luckily we didn't experience that. This is the last stop on Greenland. It's the, uh, the most eastern point of Prince Christian Sund. It's a abandoned weather station. It's a really cool place. It doesn't really feel abandoned though. There is no. no people. No. And it's so beautiful. I don't know if you see it, but it's a huge glacier behind us on the side. And uh, we are tied up to shore behind, beside the um, Hilma down in the bay. Quite tricky. Maybe you see it. Uh, it's both a <laughs> bow and stern tie. Yeah. Uh, I think this is a good day to leave Greenland. Yeah. It's beautiful weather, some wind and not too many icebergs out. Exactly. So, so now we're heading to Faroe Island. Yeah. It's uh, nine days of sailing, 89 days of sailing. It's uh, 1,100 nautical miles. Uh, so that will be exciting. And the, yes. the weather forecast is uh, good. Uh, it's a little bit too northerly wind, so maybe we start off heading a little bit more south or at least east. Um, so, but uh, no low pressure the first week, so that's very good. Yeah. And uh, Greenland is fantastic. It's uh, uh, it's hard to say what's been best on the trip so far. It tends to be the last thing that we've seen, but uh, this. Uh, this is the best. Yeah, I think this is the best because here here we have all the nature. We have had fairly good weather and we have and no restriction due corona. So we have uh, been walking around freely yeah. and that's a very <laughs> I feel very satisfied. Greenland people, they are very shy but very kind, so kind and helpful. Yeah. Uh, and we, it's an interesting mix of uh, languages. 
they speak Danish and Greenlandish, maybe yeah, it's called. Yeah, yes, it's called. Uh, and we speak English and Swedish. Uh, so they, some understand some in English and some uh, we we try to speak Danish or sound Danish, but we speak Swedish. Yeah. Swedish with a Danish accent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on. Come on. How hard it? And they they go got there. Yeah. Camel dance. <laughs> Then they understand. And pulse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was that. That was. Thank bye you. bye Greenland. Thank Greenland. you Greenland. This is so nice. We left Greenland with big smiles and uh, we have to come back. Follow us next week when we discover Faroe Island and eat all kind of fermented food.